For this video, we're going to be breaking down the tape of quarterback and defensive back number 8, Masai Campbell, class of 2025 of Woodlands High School in New York, highlighted on the screen. Now this young man, 6'3", 180 pounds. I'm going to tell you some of the good things I saw on tape, some things that maybe you can work on, and we'll go through some clips. But before we continue with the breakdown, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give that thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And think about joining our Patreon for some added perks and coverage and to help support the channel. And now getting back to our breakdown, and let's start with the good. And this young man has some good frame to him, right? Solid size, I mentioned listed at about a buck 80, 6'3", throwing motion pretty fast, saw some really strong throws, pushing the ball, deep concepts, intermediate throws, throws at the numbers or outside the numbers when he's in the middle of the field, and even some tough throws that he made under pressure. You saw some real nice highs here from him on tape. Now, things that he can also work on, his feet, right? He's got to be able to maneuver his feet a little bit. Sometimes he's a little bit stiff. It'll help him maneuver the pocket a little bit better, be a little bit more balanced on throws. And he faced a lot of pressure. I mentioned some of the good throws I saw, but there was also times where the pressure really did affect his decision-making. But let's go over a couple clips that I did like. I mentioned he's highlighted right here on the screen. Let's just talk about him pushing the ball. And you can see on the right side, they have three defenders. They're in a two-by-two two concept, two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. We're going to focus on the go route on the bottom of the screen. And we're going to see him push the ball, right? And you can see they're playing man coverage away from the three defender side here. And as they hike the ball, I love that he gives a look to the right, right? He gives a look to the right and then comes back left. And that's something that, again, small little nuances that, that quarterbacks can do to open things up for, the, uh, for their offense and to, to kind of push the safety to the other side. And again, again, very subtle, but I like how he starts there and then comes back. And I think more quarterbacks need to learn how to man manipulate a defense by doing that. Right? You know where you're going. And look at the delivery right here. Really delivers a strike. The DB was kind of playing a short route. Right? He, he's kind of on his heels a little bit. The receiver goes right by him, and he delivers it. He doesn't float it. He delivers an absolute strike here. Let's go to another play. Highlighted right here, this time he's got two backs, two receivers to the left. We're going to focus on the two receiver side. And he's going to be running a bit of a slant or an in-breaking route, and this number two receiver is going to be running an out. And you're going to see the defense is press on the outside receiver here, and the safety's playing off, and they're going to be playing man on each other right here. So again, a lot of space in between the second receiver, and on that out, that's where they're going to be looking to go. But you're going to see the defense brings pressure right here. Right, the defensive end does a really good job getting by the tackle very quickly. And so this quarterback, he's going to have to make a throw with pressure in his face. And he knows where he wants to go. He wants to go on this out route. So you got to deliver the ball in the middle of the field, actually really even close to this hash. So this is a long throw with somebody bearing down. And he takes a big shot right here. But look at the ball placement. Right on the numbers, towards the outside. Really strong throw here. Under pressure. Know you're going to get hit and still deliver a strike. Let's do it again. Again, we'd like to see a little bit quicker feet. only takes one step on there. His feet are horizontal, and that's the quick feet that we're talking about. But look at him facing the pressure, delivers a beautiful strike here, big hit, and still delivers. Let's go to another one. Here he is highlighted again. Again, similar concept we saw in the last play. You're going to see this outside receiver is going to be breaking towards the inside, stopping right here. You're going to see an out route. Running back in the backfield is going to wheel out. Now defensively, this number two defender is kind of be hanging out in the flats. But you can see, again, pressure coming off the edge very fast. Right, So he knows he's going to have a lot of pressure in his face. And by the time he's processing this, you're going to see this flat defender taking away this in-breaking route. So he wants to go to this out. Takes a big shot again. And watch the strike here. Right on the outside of the numbers. Again, with pressure in his face. So that initial diagnosis of where he goes with the ball and delivering it with timing and accuracy, even when there's a defender bearing down on him. He sees it right here. Knows he's going to get hit, takes a big shot, and delivers a strike. 
Now, when I talk about arm strength, you know, in game, I saw about a 40 yard air completion um, as the maximum for this young man. And we're going to see it right here. So this is one of the more powerful throws that I've seen on him. So you're going to see him highlighted here. You're going to have max protection. So this time, offense, they're going to have a chip by this tight end. You have both backs stay in to block. And they're really going to target this go route on third and long with this one defensive back out here, right? They're on the right hash. So they're going to give him maximum protection. Allow him to get a solid base, no pressure. And watch this strike. I mean, that's a 40-yarder right there, a moonshot. Let's watch it one more time. Try to give him max protection here, one-on-one, -on -one, wide receiver and defensive back. Get enough time to step up into the pocket and deliver an absolute bomb. Again, there's some raw potential with this young man. I'm excited to see what he works on this offseason.